Dan Perkins, Jasper County cover crop guy, and it is April 16th, and we are in a field that had cereal rye, aerial seeded into standing corn, um, the first week of September, and the cereal rye is that nice green carpet. It's exactly what we want to be looking for. We were in this field, uh, first time cover crop user, showing the amazing impact of living roots in the fall. And so we're back in this field, now spring. What I really want to show here again is that same effect of the living root. So here's from a cereal rye strip. It's got that Velcro soil which just tears apart. Um, we have living roots that are feeding our soil biology which is building organic matter and soil tilt. And then we have um, nitrogen scavenging that's going on. So typically we'd be losing 80% uh, of our nitrate out of our tiles in that November to April time frame and so we're we're preventing that loss whereas this soil which I just took from um, where there was no cover crop put on and it's it's blocky and chunky um, it's got no air and water um, that's able to infiltrate as easy as in this nice coffee ground look um, so again this is the power of cover crops that not only in the first year, but choosing cover crops that, again, are alive in the spring. So when we dug our soil core here in the fall, we had roots that were down about 20 inches, and then we just did it here today, and the roots were down 32 plus inches. So again, we look in this cottage cheese effect, we're holding nitrogen, we're building soil health, and this uh, first time cover crop user is burn this down actually yesterday and then we'll be planting soybeans in no-till um, and we're gonna have a, a successful crop year mimicking the old fence row Dan Perkins cover crop guy making cover crops happen